It was obvious from the treatment that Daryl Morey received years ago when he decided to speak out about China that the NBA has a lot tied to China. They have a lot riding on China when it comes to financial and monetary gains, which is why they've tried to shut down any and all criticism against the Communist Party of China. Well, Adam Silver came out and basically admitted that that's the case. Adam Silver says the NBA lost hundreds of millions of dollars due to the China TV blackout following the Daryl Morey tweet. Commissioner Adam Silver announced this week his league lost hundreds of millions after Chinese TV outlets imposed a blackout of all NBA games following the Daryl Morey tweet in support of the pro-democracy movement in Hong Kong. Now, we saw LeBron James speak out about this. We saw LeBron James essentially throw Daryl Morey under the bus, says, we have freedom of speech, doesn't mean we're free of consequences. People shouldn't speak about things they're not educated on. The most ironic statement in the world coming from LeBron James. But Adam Silver is basically just admitting what we've all been talking about for years. The NBA has different standards for people and what they can say based on what they're talking about because they do not want anyone associated with the league to say anything bad about China because, like he said, they'll lose hundreds of millions if they let it happen. Yeah, they had to um, get an audience from somewhere since they actually divided the American fan base. So when they lost China, that was a big hit to the pocketbook and. Now you see once again, you know, Steve Kerr out there, virtue sitting, game one, ratings are down. The NBA is his own worst enemy. And not one single player came out and defended Daryl Morey. Not one. Because they knew that their Chinese masters would throw them under the bus and they lost hundreds of millions of dollars. Good. They deserve it. I don't even care. And I hope that they lose more money. Yeah, and in this interview, he he's basically talking about how they allow their players freedom and their, the people freedom to speak out about things. And since that tweet, you know, they've decided to allow people to speak out, even if it means a monetary loss for the NBA. And that's kind of a double-edged sword because you're talking about China and you're talking about all the political stuff. He's, he's, he kind of is referring to letting the players speak out on these political issues because you can't deny that's had a financial impact on the NBA mm. as well. Now, whether it's had a bigger effect than China, I don't know. Like only Adam Silver and the executives of the NBA know exactly how much money they continue to lose by woke losers like LeBron James, woke idiots like Steve Kerr and Greg Popovich making yeah. the NBA political. But if you're when you're going to allow your players to speak out, you got to allow it with everything. If you're going to allow them to speak out about BLM and social justice and career criminals getting shot rightfully, then you damn sure better let people stand up for what they believe in on the other side of the coin. Right. And unfortunately, it hasn't been the case. They here. will. They, we know that they won't. Imagine mm -hmm. a player that came out. He's wearing a MAGA shirt and he says, secure the border, uh, protect gun rights. Do you think the NBA would have his back? No, no, absolutely not. There's no way. It would not. But yeah, we look at the way that Jonathan Isaac was treated when Jonathan Isaac stood for the national anthem and the treatment he got. Did anyone in the NBA defend him? I don't think so. Who was no. the other? We had another player who stood uh, for the national anthem for the Utah Jazz that got raked over the coals, right? I don't, I don't remember who it was, though. That's the treatment right. people get for having normal views in the NBA yeah. when you don't align with woke lunacy. And your, and your woke media asks, Jonathan Isaac, why are you standing? They actually asked him why he was standing for the national anthem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unreal. Absolutely. So interesting for Adam Silver to come out and admit what we've all been talking about, that they lose hundreds of millions of dollars if they say bad things about China.